one of the most forgotten examples of harmonic motion includes sound and music. In physics, wave behavior tends to act the same in all applications, including mechanical motion, sound waves, and even electromagnetic waves. In this case of the pipe organ, air is pushed through resonant chambers. The output is at the resonant frequency of the pipe and is determined by the size and shape. When a particular note is played, it has a pitch, known as frequency. When the frequency is double, the pitch will sound the same, just higher. The human ear works on an exponential scale, therefore each octave sounding linearly higher is double in frequency. By adjusting stops on the organ, different pipes with the same size are used. Although the frequency is the same, the sound is very different. This effect is known as timbre, and it relates to the harmonic frequencies in a specific note. Another great example of harmonic motion are the vibrating strings of a piano. When a note is depressed, the hammer causes the strings to vibrate at a specific resonant frequency. The amplitude of the wave is proportional to the force exerted by your finger, creating an amazing range of dynamics. In Western music, one octave is divided into 12 equal notes. This allows almost harmonically perfect thirds, fourth, and fifth intervals. A great example of circular motion is right above us in the form of orbiting satellites. The period, or time it takes a satellite to make one orbit, is equal to 2 pi times the square root of the radius cubed over the gravitational constant times the mass of Earth. This means that low Earth orbit satellites can travel as fast as 7 kilometers per second in relation to us. But how can we test for this? Have you ever heard the Doppler shift when a police car whizzes by? The same effect is true with electromagnetic waves and can be observed with a radio receiver tuned to an amateur satellite beacon. As you can faintly hear in the audio, the weak signal in this amateur satellite is slowly decreasing in frequency as the pass is completed. The footage is separated from the audio and is sped up because the pass usually lasts about 15 minutes. As seen in the clip, a high initial potential energy is converted into kinetic energy due to the acceleration of gravity. On the second hill, kinetic energy is converted back into potential energy where the velocity reaches zero. The second hill is of course smaller than the first because frictional losses make reaching the initial height impossible. Another effect of gravity includes projectile motion. Due to the linear x-coordinate velocity and the constant accelerating y-coordinate, a parabola is created by all objects including humans. Similar to linear momentum where an object will resist change in speed, in angular momentum a spinning object will resist change in direction. This is why a bicycle can be ridden at high speeds with no hands even and have no problem. However, when brought to a lower speed, well, I think the video explains it enough. Uh, not quite. <laughs> Although the frequency is the same, the sound is very different. The effect is known as... Effect? Okay, shut up.